I just wanted to talk about. <laughs> just bumping on. Oh, that's crazy. My homie did a beat with this sample, and I'm about to release it. This is anomaly. I think it's from Princess Mononoke. Twenty thirteen anomaly. See, I've never heard this sample, but uh, my jam is gonna be called Limbo on Eight Wheels. That just caught me off guard. Yeah, just listen to Anomaly getting... I see he had music going since 20... 2008. Then 2010, 2013. And now he's like a... A media consultant. He's really into social media. He's live streaming for several hours every day. And I was frustrated with him. But when I get triggered, that's the most important time. He was saying, he's saying you're lazy. So he was like, yeah, you know. One of my videos had several million views. Then he uh, got enough. Got enough money to, um, no, no, views. Then he became a social media consultant. And uh, so I was triggered a little bit because he was like, you know, it sounds like you're just lazy. It's like when people say they don't have enough skills, he's like just stressing the importance of needing to know every aspect of the business. And I understand what he means. It's just frustrating for someone who wants to dive deeply into one part of the craft. Like, oh, I don't know, the music. He was saying that that person would be lazy. He's like, well, I don't, I'm not a videographer. I'm not going to do video. And I don't have this part and this part. And he's like, and I agree. I've always been that one. Like, it'd be nice to have a team. And over and over again, I'm, I hear this, that you need to have, handle every part of the creative aspect, including the business aspect. So... Yeah, he was saying something I already knew. But the funny part was, he was like calling people lazy. He's like, if you don't do that, then you're lazy. It sounds like you're just lazy. And he, uh, complimenting YouTube for the tutorial videos. And then, five seconds later, someone was like, we're waiting for your full-length album. And he skirted it. He skirted hard. He's like, well, you're gonna have to wait. And then he said, I'm working on my book right now. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh, bro. And I guess the point of this video, I just wanted to say, like, hip hop in our time, I know from experience, too. I can hear it in his voice right now. He's rapping right now from 2013. Is there something about hip hop culture which inspired confidence? Music is very powerful in the confidence of rappers. You can like, you can troll people, you can diss people, you can talk shit on record. 
you can build yourself up you can speak your philosophies and because it's it's over the music you can and it's there's rhythmic elements to it It, you build it up like a momentum like a train so it's like that rhythmic train you can build momentum and then as you gain and the longer your rap goes on and the more the better it's written the more confidence you build in a single song in a single verse 16 bars is just enough to build momentum and to gain confidence in sure your own voice but also your own when i say your voice they can take that two ways is your physical voice and then the voice that is your writing your the points you're trying to make your mind your voice mind is your own individual thoughts and the way you interpret the information you learn and then dissect it you make it witty or potent or stronger by your interpretation and your regurgitation of what you've learned and so those are the some of the things that i just think build great confidence in a young man so the the importance of hip-hop music which you could say comes from blues and black culture also to a degree gospel culture um it's the music right church music which becomes rap rock and roll which starts with this blues bass and uh, tempo. We can't do, you can't do the rhythms unless the tempo is slow enough. You know, whether it's 90 BPM, 100, the faster you go, sometimes the more complicated your thing can get. So, so I've sensed that an anomaly too. Young, and not everybody, Mm, there's a lot of so many people who don't have a musical background who don't write rap music maybe they want to pick it up and it i face this too is it looks attractive people want to get into it because they see that you've been able to it's a therapy and it's a method of distribution for your thoughts and your heart and those that type of heart-based communication with music is incredibly beneficial to not only the individual but also the audience and if you're inspired by your own music maybe you wish to share it and so you gain social points and maybe you want to perform it and share your message and maybe the more you see you have an audience the more message you want to make and then you start to think deeper is what lyrics am i writing is the message and it's time for self-reflection perfect for a man who is gaining his uh voice like i said the mind the way of thinking and the way of writing and communicating Uh, I'm sure throughout time men have had difficulty communicating their points of view to the wider world so hip hop was a perfect device for so many uh, I guess us 90s babies We never faced hard times. We never hit war. Uh, We never, nothing really, we've been, what do they call us, entitled? So, and with that, you also find that people want, they want to talk about their, I've faced this too, they want to talk their wisdom, but they haven't learned anything yet. (laughs) 
you're brand new, fresh into the world, and now you want to share your opinion, but you haven't seen enough to form an opinion. And this is suburban MCs. And then you get a brand of comedy that comes through the music. And comedy and hip-hop have always been hand-in-hand in terms of roasting, roast culture. Eminem showed a lot of that. Now I'm not sure he's 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 been through phases, but he brought that aspect to it. It's like let me comment on the world I see, and uh, make people laugh with. It. So, and I see that in Anomaly now is he's like over overly egoistic, just in the sense that he like thinks he knows everything, and. I understand it too and now going back listening to his music it's just it's amazing what music can do for one's uh, personality can give you a swagger all you have to do is record write the song to a beat record the song and play it back and get into it then you start making more music and then you want to put out albums and then you get people to listen to them but there's a magical thing that happens when you record listen back and you're like that sounds great it sounds like i'd hear it on the radio and now all of a sudden you're creating the con the content for the cult for your personal culture in a way that Before you would only get fed culture. Now you're a creator. So I see that Anomaly ratcheted this up to such a high degree. But also got really involved in Donald Trump. He's really... He just loves Republicans. And that's how he gained a lot of his fans. But now he's like... uh, I I don't know much about him. But I just noticed like... I want to listen back to his music because I could sense this arrogance. The same arrogance that I have making my videos. But it was just funny for him to call all his friends lazy because they don't. And then and then once they asked him for a full length album, like and it just is so telling She's like, you're lazy if you can't do all this. And I'm right. Oh, but you're not going to get my album. Because he lost focus on the music. (laughs) He live streams for six hours every day talking about Republican elections and who's what senators are in. And talking about how he loves his country. All of which I understand, but it makes him a freaking shitty musician. Uh, It takes a... a very dedicated mind to to make masterful artworks timeless timeless albums and so it was the a paradox of the first thing he said is he was he was ragging on the I don't mean to belabor this point he was ragging on the the artists who would contact him and I guess they were looking for help they were also appreciating his efforts because he like you said he was a jack of all trades he said I gotta learn everything I gotta learn the business side of it and he came to some realizations at an age and but it's just what I'm saying is he was ragging on these artists because they were like well I don't have this this and this And his whole point, he was trying to make the point, okay, learn how to do it yourself. But fast forward two minutes, and it seems like he was so, he got himself distracted on all other things. And so if he started as a musician, as a rapper, and as a producer, he now does not prioritize that. Okay, that's it. So you start with your music and that gets your confidence 
And so now he's like, oh, yeah, I'm great. There's some there's an aspect to hip hop that's like a suck your own nuts. It's it's a big middle finger to everyone else. As zero says fuck all of y'all dot com. And I put that in one of my songs too, because I'm a biter. Fuck all of y'all dot com. So it's that same thing that and I always wish I had a team and sometimes people find me and circle me and I, I see the teamwork more as inspire. We look to inspire each other, but nah, y you, uh, you don't like making videos and then you just don't, you don't make videos. You don't like doing marketing, then you just don't do marketing. That's at least my take from it because, yeah, there's a lot of uh, creative things that could be done. They could go hand in hand. You want them to highlight the music, but there are times, you know, when you end up writing a book about politics and your fans are asking, where's your full length album? That should be a sign. It's like, wow, I'm distracted. So I'm not I'm not a competition between me and Anomaly. Maybe I just wanted to justify why I would be one of those people in his inbox. I would not email this person, but I understand the position. They're like, he he's always he he uh he likes that he wears a lot of hats. <laughs> That's an inside joke because every podcast he's wearing a hat. He also sells hats. So yeah, if you start, if you if you get into product design and then you start writing books about Republican politics, you've lost touch with with your music, and it's okay to be a jack of all trades. But it's telling when a fan when fans are asking you where's your full length album, just stop for a second. Think about where you what you've been doing. And maybe you've fall you want gone you wandered too far. There can be something to this, yeah, make a video, do the marketing, uh do the street promotion, become a tour manager, make a website design. You can do all that, but you're, there's only so much time in the day. And the less time you spend making music, the worse you're going to be at it. You know what I mean? And if you're going to put music first, you must put music first. If you're going to be a painter, you must paint. Must. Okay. Uh... If you can be anything in the world, be kind.